I remember 2022 because, you know, we deal, we have new clients that come on board just retiring. And then, you know, as stocks and bonds went down there in 2022, yeah, just, you know, had a lot of conversations trying to get them to realize, look, you know, we're, we're pulling dividends off here. We're not necessarily pulling your principal down. You know, it takes time to recover. And And welcome into your game plan for retirement with Northwestern Ohio's resource for a common sense approach to planning for your financial investment and retirement future. Chris McIntyre is president and founder of McIntyre Retirement Services, an independent fiduciary financial and retirement planning firm. Chris, we always appreciate the time that you spend here on the programming, making sure that clients, that investors uh, proactive planners are uh, are educated on their financial decisions. And I think that you emphasize that understanding that that education factor with people's money and finance so that you have well-informed clients that can really feel confident in their plan based in knowledge and understanding. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we you know we take good pride in in educating our clients. We teach educational classes, even at some of the local colleges here, we use their facilities and do our retirement planning course. And uh, I think I come by that somewhat naturally. My mom's a retired school teacher, so is my grandmother. And I, I really enjoy, you know, helping them learn and understand. And, you know, that way they, they can make better, more informed decisions, uh, you know, because sometimes you know, not making any decision is still making a decision, right? And I've decided sure. not to decide to do anything. And that's yeah. usually not always in your best interest. No, but uh, given all the information, all the facts, most people are intelligent and can come to good conclusions on what is best for them in their situation to help achieve their financial goals. It's just that first part of it, getting good information. Sometimes, Chris, is hard to come by and you present things on this program, I think, in an unbiased very fair way, assessing both the pros and cons, the benefits, the disadvantages of all financial options. And there are always pros and cons for every financial option. You talk them through here on the program, as well as I know in those educational classes, and then in person with each individual looking to plan efficiently and effectively for their financial future. And if, ladies and gentlemen, you are looking for a, a, a more confident understanding with your money, if you'd like to get down into the details of, of the investments that you hold or, or just want to feel good about your money from a very high level, knowing that you've got a experienced, qualified, professional looking out for you in your best interest in a goal-oriented plan, pick up the phone and I encourage you to give a call to McIntyre Retirement services. Talk with Chris. Uh, understand how that knowledge, how that education can make a difference in your confidence and quality of life moving through your financial progress into and throughout retirement. 800-868-1194 is the number to call. 800-868-1194. And Chris and the team from McIntyre Retirement Services do always open the phone lines and the appointment calendar that if you would like to sit down and review your investment portfolio, your retirement accounts, they will do that with you on a no cost, no obligation, complimentary basis. Just give a call again, 800-868-1194, 868 1194. Chris, one of the most common, I think the quintessential question that savers and investors have, how much do I need to retire? A am I ready, right? What is what is the benchmark? What is what is the milestone I need to shoot for? Uh, maybe different forms of that question, but really getting down to how do I know I can retire with confidence? And, and that's probably the gist of or, or, or center of a lot of the conversations that you have there at McIntyre Retirement Services and something that we're going to talk about today. Sure, Peter. And, you know, it, it's it's not a one size fits all by any stretch of the imagination. You know, if you happen to be fortunate enough that you have a $6,000 a month pension, chances are you don't need a million dollar 401k because you're going to live off of your pension. Um you know, and, and and I say that because I, you know, we meet with folks, a retired school teacher with a nice pension, and then a, you know, maybe a husband or a wife, uh, depending on the case, that might have a three thousand dollar a month social security benefit. They got nine thousand dollars a month coming in without touching any other assets. That's an easier equation. And you know how how do I know if I have enough? Well, you know, it gets easier the sooner you start planning for it, obviously, and thinking about it. 
Um, so it starts, you know, at age 50, essentially, you really start, you know, kind of get that wake up call when you have that magical birthday. You get another one there at, at age 60 to say, all right, we're doing OK, or we really need to make up. And you start making those catch up contributions. So, you know, factoring in, you know, if you got a million dollars in in investments, you know, the rule of thumb was you could safely take 4% out of that. And chances are, again, because it's a rule of thumb, chances are you wouldn't run out of money in your retirement adjusting for inflation. You know, and there's different ways to, you know, create income portfolios and whatnot than, you know, just using the 4% rule. But, you know, it, at least it's a, a, a somewhat of a guide for people, you know, to, to, Say, all right, well, if I got a million dollars, I can take 40000 out of my IRA account. I'm going to have my Social Security. The wife will have Social Security and then factor in pensions. Okay, Does that cover your basic living expenses? And that's, you know, pretty, you know, try to keep it simple and, and see how the math works using that formula. Yeah, well, I, we know, Chris, that we've talked before. It's it's not necessarily an age. It's not the lump sum. It's not uh, how long you've worked in your years of service. It's it's really it boils down to that spending plan that we create that that you put together that game plan for retirement, looking at a high level at income, investments, taxes, healthcare, legacy, bringing those all together. Having that plan is what is going to inspire lasting retirement confidence and answer that real question, the concern, am I ready to retire? Different ways of, of looking at that question. The real meaning behind it, we'll, we'll talk about, we'll discuss, and we'll try to help give people insight on how to answer on this program. So again, ladies and gentlemen, if you've got questions, if you got concerns, if uh, you would like to have that complimentary review, that retirement planning strategy session, and design your game plan for retirement, give Chris McIntyre a call, 800-868-1194, 800-868-1194. Chris, uh, for, for those watching the video version of the podcast, you've got a canine companion uh, back there with you in the shot today. Uh, one, of, one of your dogs back there. Who's that? Yeah, that, her name is Matisse, or we call her Maddie, and that is uh, that's when she was born. The first time my wife went down to meet her there, and she's now nine and a half years old. But uh, I can't get rid of the picture, and I have our other dogs that uh, are no longer with us right behind her. I can't get rid of either one of them, so I'll yeah. keep them forever. A uh, cute little puppy picture back there, uh, ladies and gentlemen. You have to go to uh, YouTube or to McIntyreRetirementServices.com and check out the video if you'd like to see a picture of Maddie, Chris's dog. So, um, well, Chris, we'll, we'll get back into it. And and uh, I know pets can be expensive. Kids can be expensive. Life can be expensive. Lots of things that we're going to have to plan and prepare for. And nobody loves the word budget. Budget, but everybody needs one. And a lot of times at, at McIntyre Retirement Services, you're trying to not tell people no, that they can't do things, that they can't buy things, that they can't take trips or go on vacations, but give them a plan, a spending plan that they can do those things with confidence, but within guidelines, right? That's, that's what you're trying to achieve with the income portion of the game plan for retirement. Yeah. And, you know, Peter, this is the, the time of year we're having some reviews with clients and, you know, accounts have done well in 2023, 2024, all in all. So, you know, I, I tell clients, say, look, you've done pretty good here. You know, do you need anything? This is the time you want to take some funds out. Things have done well. You're taking some of the icing on the cake right now. And, you know, and some of them are buying new cars or, or planning trips and whatnot, or we're doing Roth conversions as well. But that's that's kind of a different strategy. But, you know, when the market goes up, you got a little bit of more flexibility if you need to do some discretionary spending. When the market goes down, like in 2022, sometimes you say, look, you know, hang on, let's not buy the car just yet, or maybe you finance it and then you can pay it off a little bit later. Just some of those things as general examples. Well, Chris, maybe maybe generalization here, but I have to imagine that most of your clients there at McIntyre Retirement Services have been lucky or hardworking or blessed enough, whatever you want to call it, to earn a more comfortable kind of income during their working career where they maybe did not have to pay as close attention to the budget, pinch every penny, stretch every dollar. But for that same description of individual, the change in income the day after we retire is that much more substantial and the lifestyle 
that we are accustomed to is probably that much more expensive. Having a spending plan while we're working is pretty easy. We just stay within our paycheck. Uh, exceeding it for 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 too long or or on a repeated basis could be catastrophic. But most people are able to stay within it, earning a comfortable kind of income. Is it more difficult the day after we retire when instead of a, a, a weekly or biweekly or monthly recurring paycheck, we're looking at the lump sum and trying to figure out the same kind of budgeting over 30 years rather than just till the end of the next pay cycle? Well, it, you know, there's a lot of emotion involved in in retiring, you know, for one thing, you know, you you lose connection with people you worked with. So there's a social connection you lose. There's a financial connection, obviously, as well, where, you know, somebody was putting money into the bank account. Now you've got to take money out of your investment account and put it into your 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 bank account. You're paying yourself in in a sense. And, you know, that and that's a challenge for a lot of folks. You, Peter, you and I are self-employed. We've been doing this basically our entire lives. So for us, it's 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 a little different. Um so you know, but as we talk with our clients here at, at McIntyre Retirement Services, you know, you know, our job is to help them see through that emotional element there and keep them on that disciplined approach. Say, look, here was the success that you did that got you through retirement, tried and true, you know, um, uh, of putting money in the in, in the stock market or your 401k, depending on what types of investments you were using, you know, through good times and bad. So now we need to keep that same discipline approach as we're taking money out of it and not, you know, bleed it too much in any particular year. So, you know, sometimes I have the difficult job of saying, look, you know, you, you cannot continue this path that you're going down for whatever reason. Maybe they're helping kids out or, you know, that that that's a very common one. You know, they bleeding their own retirement accounts to supplement their kids or, or we call it enabling. That's a hard Hard thing to say, but look, you know, sometimes we have to have those conversations. You're you're getting outside of my comfort zone with what we've built for you, uh, and you can't. You got to have a disciplined approach and tell them what they, you know, deserve to hear, not what they want to hear. Sometimes, uh, Chris is is the psychological aspect of that overlooked. Uh, in in your opinion, do, does does everything sort of tighten up? Do people uh, get a little bit more conservative and and um, worried or scared as they see withdrawals being made from the accounts rather than contributions to them? Oh yeah, you know I remember twenty twenty two because you know we deal we have new clients that come on board just retiring and then you know as stocks and bonds went down there in twenty twenty two yeah just you know had a lot of conversations trying to get them to realize, look, you know, we're, we're pulling dividends off here. We're not necessarily pulling your principal down. You know, it takes time to recover. And that's, those are an extra emotional element when you just retire and the market goes down, right? You got a double whammy, you know, or the trifecta, whatever you want to say, you know, no more income, no more, uh, you know, the market's going down and I'm taking money out of it. So, you know, thankfully that that didn't last very long. 2023, 2024 been very good for for the dividend payers. And, uh, you know, I probably got a couple of apologies even. <laughs> uh, Chris, I'm joking with that. There, uh, 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 ups and downs in the market, though, they're going to come. Y you strive to help your clients build a foundation for their financial well-being that's maybe maybe not unaffected by that, but can sustain through the ups and downs of the market. Yeah, the safe money piece. Thanks for bringing that up. I I, uh, I was going to get into that. And, you know, you obviously you have to have a, a, an alternative strategy. So when, you know, maybe the, the primary strategy for most of us, right, most people want to keep some money in the stock market and bond market and have a diversified portfolio around their risk tolerance, pull money out on their monthly elements. And then, you know, if they if something goes uh, you know, off, like in a 2022, for example, uh, then we can go over to the safe money strategy, pull money out of that and, uh, you know, eliminate pulling money out of the uh, the main account that's going down or reduce the withdrawals, a number of combinations there. And, you know, those strategies work very well because it takes the emotion out of it. Say, look, we're going to stop pulling money out of this side. We're going to come over here and the other alternative that we put in place. And we're going to pull some assets out of that and give the take pressure off of the off the investment side. And once it recovers, then we can turn it back on. And, you know, it works very well. Nice having more than one plan, right? Yeah.
Uh, Chris, when building a structure, architects, engineers, construction will tell you you've got to build the firm foundation before you start building the walls and the ceilings and the and the floors. The foundation has to be in place. What you're talking about is is foundational for our financial structure and continued well being. Um, that that is addressing the income and the budgeting and the spending plan. That is the foundation for our financial progress into and throughout retirement. Yeah, it certainly is, and. You know, as we, you know, meet with clients and monitor their portfolios as things go on, as, as time goes on, you know, then we can make some adjustments, obviously. And, you know, when you're, you know, when you've kind of got a, a regular meeting schedule, you know, there's an accountability process in there on both sides of the table. It ensures that our job, our office and staff are, we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. Do we need to make portfolio adjustments? And then, you know, on the client side of things too, are they, you know, if, if they're, if we think they're taking too much money out, we can have that conversation as well saying, look, you know, got, we didn't build it on $8,000 a month. We built it on $4,000 a month and, you know, those types of things given, just given some examples out there. And, you know, we have uh, clientele that are still working, putting money into it and we manage other assets that they're not necessarily drawing money out of it. You know, so there you have, you know, it, it's for the folks that are taking the money out right now. Obviously, the the attention needs to be a little bit greater on there because the the margin of error isn't there. Somebody who's fifty five years old going to work for ten more years. You know, they're in the in the go go years, right? They're still putting money into it, probably a lot more heavily invested in stocks than somebody who's sixty five and pulling you know five percent out for their uh, for their annual withdrawal. That one needs that one needs a little more monitoring, without question. Yeah. And, and you mentioned, Chris, other assets that maybe they're not pulling off of. That's equally important as well to have some growth assets, to have some non, non-essential income producing dollars. Because even if we lay the, the foundation over time, ground shifts and cracks can form in that foundation. Inflation, taxation, healthcare, market volatility, all of these things could potentially form cracks in the foundation. And those other discretionary growth assets over time, that's what's going to be used to fill those cracks. Yeah, absolutely, Peter. And, you know, we get a lot of folks that'll come in, they'll ask about, you know, hey, can we pay off the mortgage now? Or how are, you know, I'd like to have it paid off in five years. How do we do that without, you know, uh, um, uh, w- without bleeding my account down? It's like, look, when the account does good, we can carve off some extra gains and Put it over here. You can apply it to your mortgage. You know, again, as long as we're not, you know, paying Uncle Sam too much money. Uh, in that example, um, and then you also get, you know, folks uh, as they get a little bit older, they want to say, look, uh, you know, can we start giving money to our kids and get it out of our estate? You know, in case the nursing home and things like that. So then we help them create a strategy to to help move those assets. Uh, you know, into their kids' names or whatever, whatever they want to do, charities, all those things as well. Because there's different phases of retirement, right? If you're, you know, 60 years old and you took an early retirement, you know, you're probably not worried about passing money on to your kids just yet. You need to get through your part of retirement. You're going to do your traveling, your spending. And then you, you know, then you get into the phases later in retirement where, look, we've done what we're going to do. How do we make sure that, uh, you know, that we pass it on to our kids, you know, tax efficiently. So, you know, you do transition through different phases of retirement. So it's almost like, a, you know, an infancy and adolescence and then the maturity side to it as well. Yeah, the the go-go, the slow-go, the no-go years, different phases go. that we will move through in our retirement years. And ladies and gentlemen, if you want to move through all of them with confidence, you've got to not only have a plan, but you have to continue to address and update and monitor the plan on an ongoing basis. And that is where the value of working with an experienced, qualified professional, having that relationship really is a value. And Chris McIntyre is here serving that role for so many proactive plans and savers across Northwestern Ohio. Many, many have taken advantage of the resource at McIntyre Retirement Services of, of having that plan designed and, and implemented. Many, many more need to. Uh, I think we have less lifestyle confidence if we do not have a plan. And studies have shown that working with an advisor has benefits not only financially, but psychologically, confidence-wise. So uh, again, pick up the phone. It, it is a a, a well-valued 
investment of time, although it does not have any initial immediate cost to it. No cost, no obligation to sit down with Chris McIntyre for that complimentary review, that retirement planning strategy session to get your game plan for retirement designed. 800-868-1194, the number to call, 800-868-1194, 800-868-1194. Chris, when talking about budgeting, when talking about the spending plan, there's two sides, right? There is the spending, the expenses that we have, the money that's going out, but there's also the money that's coming in. And in retirement, we've got certain dependable, guaranteed sources of income that can be or will be available to us. And that's part of the equation in the planning process there at McIntyre Retirement Services as well. I know that you spend uh, a, a dedicated time helping your clients to optimize and increase where at all possible, uh, social security and pensions as part of the game plan for retirement um, income planning process. Sure. Yeah. You know, Peter, as you know, one of our main focuses that we help people do is, you know, the optimum time to claim Social Security benefits. That's a big one, especially for married couples, because there are a couple different options they have, uh, you know, whether or not they have pensions, you know, and many people don't have pensions anymore. If they did, they were frozen and it might be, you know, five, six, seven, eight hundred or thousand dollars a month because it was frozen way back in the day. We deal with a lot of Whirlpool folks here. Uh, that had frozen pensions. Uh, and then also, uh, you know, do we do we fund them and get them into another income source as well? An annuity, for example, that gives them the lifetime income as well. Um, you know, it just depends on, on the client, the asset base where they're at, um, you know, and you can't put all your eggs in one basket. You know, we you know we're big believe, believers in diversification and, you know, um, you know, most of our folks are moderate to moderately conservative type investors, you know, and everybody wants to, you know, wants to make 30% when the stock market goes up and lose nothing when it goes down. So, you get, you know, you have to help them understand the and how you navigate these circumstances, what goes on in the market. So 2023, for example, you know, uh, the Magnificent Seven, seven stocks made the S&P 500 look what was on fire, but the other 493 didn't look nearly as good. And you know, sometimes you got to tell clients, say, look, you're in dividend paying stocks living off the dividends and they haven't gone anywhere this year. You know, and said, you know, you want to buy the NVIDIA and all right, yep, it went up substantially, but it doesn't pay any dividends and it can also fall pretty significantly. So, you know, managing clients' expectations is something else that we have to do as well as managing assets. I guess we, you know, uh, when you're the fiduciary side of things here, you're, you know, you're certainly, um, you know, uh, you, you take on a couple of different roles here. Sometimes it's a psychologist, sometimes a psychiatrist, sometimes a <laughs> marriage counselor, and then every once in a while you're a wealth manager, you know? <laughs> yeah, a, a lot of emotion goes into our money for for for, for sure, Chris. Um, and helping somebody to balance those emotions oftentimes is what leads to better decisions. That and good information. Circling back here to the beginning of the program, I know that you try to educate clients so that they are capable and confident in making good decisions. You present them with options, discuss pros and cons, uh, help make make recommendations and lead them in the right direction, but ultimately want them to understand why that is the best direction for them. And I think that is an approach that many have uh, uh, have appreciated and, and found significant value in the confidence level of the quality of life that they can maintain into and throughout retirement. And again, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to design your game plan for retirement, pick the, pick up the phone, give McIntyre Retirement Services a call, 800-868-1194, 800-868-1194. Uh, Chris, uh, a couple uh, odds and ends here as we wrap up this uh, this episode on the spending plan. Um, sometimes we get income when we need it the least. And I know that this is something that you you work around and, and try to help plan. Many people need income from their retirement accounts, from their IRAs, but some people don't. And yet the government forces us to take that income out through our MDs. Um, is, is managing and, and planning for and being proactively efficient with RMDs part of the, the conversation on, on a regular basis there at McIntyre Retirement Services as well? 
Sure. Yeah. And Peter, you know, the RMD, the required minimum distribution uh, begins at age 73 for most of the folks listening to the show today. For me, I'm coming up on 60 years old. It's set to legislate. Mine will be at 75. But for those listening to the show right now that might be 68 years old, for example, you know, when we talk about Roth conversions, you know, does it make sense to act like you're 73 right now and start taking that required minimum, what would be your required minimum distribution and convert it into a Roth IRA, you know? So you, by the time you get to age 73, you have less money in your IRA that the government is forcing you to take out, you know, whether you need it or not is another question. You know, if you're already taking out more than what their RMD would be, it, then it doesn't make any difference, right? You're already satisfying the required distribution. Um, but, you know, when, when we talk about those Roth conversions, and again, things that factor into this, Peter, is, you know, how many beneficiaries might be might benefit from mom and dad or dad or whoever doing a Roth conversion, you know, or, you know, if it's somebody who's 60 years old doing Roth conversions, you know, that person's most likely going to use that money themselves, right? If it's somebody that's 68 and has never touched their IRA, Right. Chances are they, they're not going to need that. They're doing some tax planning for their beneficiaries who may be very financially successful. And when mom and dad die, they're going to inherit their IRA account. And let's say it's a, you know, we just use a million dollars, for example. Well, all right, they've got to pull that out over a 10 year time frame now. They cannot, non spouse beneficiaries can't treat these as lifetime beneficiary IRAs. They're only for 10 years. So, you know, what do they want to do with the money? You know, are they going to give it to charity? If they are, then why do a Roth conversion? You know, mm -hmm. so again, number of different factors there. You know, there's just so many elements to a Roth IRA, a conversion to a Roth IRA, you know, uh, 401k rollovers, uh, investment aspects that we look at for retirement income. Just, you know, every case can be, can have little different nuances. And, you know, we could probably stereotype and say, you know, well, you know, we got three different groups, group that doesn't need it at all, or group that, and then a group that needs it no matter what's going on. And then, you know, some, some form right in the middle there. So, you know, we, when I meet with folks there, we kind of have some, you know, some beginning steps that we utilize for most folks that fall into category A, for example, category B, category C, if that makes sense. Yep. Well, uh, I know everybody's situation is specific. You try to reflect that, Chris. But one thing is certain there, there are more optimal, advantageous times to do certain kinds of planning than others. And when the market is up and taxes are low and interest rates are high, as we are right now, certainly a beneficial time to get serious about this and do some of that planning, get things in shape proactively for our financial future. It certainly is. This is the ideal time, you know, for looking at doing some tax planning. And, you know, I think we spoke, I think it was last week's show or the week before that the Trump tax cuts are likely to be extended, you would think, because the Republicans have all three uh, 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 bodies of, uh, con you know, Congress, the Senate and, and the presidency. So they, you know, should be able to keep those tax rates where they're at right now. At, at that 12% bracket being the most important one is not going to go to 15% in all likelihood. Again, that's just my opinion there. Well, again, ladies and gentlemen, there are optimal times. There are beneficial times to do some planning. Uh, and, and of course, the, the best time is now, like getting the plan started as soon as possible. But with markets being high, with taxes being low, with interest rates being attractive, it is a great time to get your plan in place for your financial future and to make sure that you're doing all of the right things, as well as being informed and educated about your money, your investments, and, and feel more confident moving forward. That's always what the, the mission is there at McIntyre retirement services and they help to maximize available sources of income to to minimize stress and and, and maximize results and, and optimize your income streams minimize the taxes uh make sure to address your risk tolerance and get you a better understanding of all of those factors so as always they make one big offer. Chris offers to put that plan together along with you, the game plan for retirement. You must get a plan in your hands to have confidence in 2024, 25, and, and all the years moving forward. So give a call, 800-868-1194, 800-868-1194, 800-868-1194. Chris, it is always a pleasure having you here on the program. Thank you for being uh, the resource for so many proactive planners and savers across Northwestern Ohio. 
Yep, my pleasure, everybody. Be safe out there. Thank you for listening today. Take care. Again, 800-868-1194, or you can visit online, McIntyreRetirementServices.com, especially if you want to see that cute picture of Chris's puppy, Maddie. Tune into Chris McIntyre's full radio program and visit McIntyreRetirementServices.com for many additional valuable resources, including other great episodes of Game Plan for Retirement with Chris McIntyre. Be sure to subscribe. The content of this radio show is provided for informational purposes only and is not a solicitation or recommendation of any investment strategy. You are encouraged to seek investment, tax, or legal advice from an independent professional advisor. Any investments and or investment strategies mentioned involve risk, including the possible loss of principal. Advisory services offered through Brookstone Capital Management, a registered investment advisor. Fiduciary duty extends solely to investment advisory advice and does not extend to other activities such as insurance or broker-dealer services. Advisory clients are charged a quarterly fee for assets under management, while insurance products pay a commission which may result in a conflict of interest regarding compensation.